T Sipping Bookworms, what's up? It's me, Gabby from Tea and the blog of books, tea and everything me. And you're watching another tea review. Okay, so the tea that I'm reviewing today is called Himalaya Mist Darjeeling, which is a pure black tea by Dobra Tea. Now, let me give you a little backstory of this tea. First of all, Dobra Tea is a tea house that I was able to go to um, when I visited my cousins. They're actually my husband's cousins, but my cousins by marriage. So I call them my cousins. Um, my cousins in Pennsylvania, okay? And so we were just hanging out or whatever, and we also decided to go to a tea shop that I actually researched while, while I was here in Dallas, and I thought it would be a cool place to go. Now, Dover Tea um, is in Pennsylvania, but there's also other locations. I'm not sure exactly where those other locations are. I'm sure you could just Google it. Um, I think that there's about four or five different other locations kind of sprinkled throughout the, the country. And you know what's so unfortunate is that none of the locations are in Dallas. I really hope that Dobra Tea comes to Dallas because I absolutely loved my experience there. Matter of fact, I've already done a review on my experience. So after this tea review, you might want to check that out. So when I went to Dobra Tea, I was actually looking, you know, I was of course trying to enjoy the tea experience, which I loved, but I was actually looking for a tea that they had. It was called Autumnal something. I found it online and I was thinking, yes, that's the one I want. I was looking for autumn teas anyway, because I was trying to um, celebrate the first day of fall. And that's how I celebrate the first, of us, first day of fall by sipping an autumn harvested tea. But when I got there and asked for it, they went, go, they went to go look for it in the back and it was sold out. So I'm assuming that that probably is an amazing blend. But they gave me this tea, which is very close to that one. This one is the Himalaya Mist Darjeeling Pure Black Tea. It's a blend of Darjeelings, all harvested in autumn. So it's still an autumn tea, and that's why I'm excited to share it with you. Okay guys, so you know what I like to talk about when I review my teas here on Tea and Blog. I like to talk about the hue, the scent, and the sip, which is the taste of all the teas that I review. And this one is no exception, so let's get started. So I have my notes right here, just so that I can stay on track. So let's talk about the hue. The hue is very interesting. Why? Well, not really because it's outstanding, but because mentally I'm kind of comparing it to other Darjeeling's that I've sipped. For example, I um, purchased maybe a couple of years ago a Darjeeling Rishiat from the, um, the Culture Cup here in Dallas. And that tea actually brewed to be very similar in hue to a white tea. So it was very interesting to see a black tea brew like my favorite type of tea, which is white tea. Now this tea here, this Himalaya Mist Darjeeling, um, is a bruise just like a black tea. I would say that, I mean, it kind of looks dark in the camera here as you're looking at it, but right in front of it, and of course I'll have pictures below. If you're watching this directly from YouTube, you will have to go over, just click the link below, it'll take you directly to the blog post. If you're already on the blog post, all you have to do is scroll, scroll down, the pictures are below. So. As you can see, the hue, and as I put it up to my nose, it smells amazing, but we'll get to the scent here in a second. The hue is very reminiscent of a black tea, but it's not as dark as some black teas, like in a song or whatever. It's very kind of like a burnt orange, which is perfect because it's an autumn tea. It's an autumn harvested tea, and you just think of burnt orange. You know, you think of pumpkins, you think of the leaves turning, and it just really looks like autumn as well as smells like. Okay, so let's talk about the scent of this tea because I can't, I can't not talk about it. Having the tea this close to my nose, I'm smelling it. It smells like pumpkin. It smells like candied yams. It smells like squash. It smells like autumn. It smells amazing. Okay, I, that's the reason why I love autumn teas because they embody not only in taste but also in scent, the, the scents and the, and the flavors and everything that's around you during this season. I absolutely love the smell. I wish I can turn it into a candle or something. And I truly enjoyed sipping this tea just, just for the simple fact of being able to sniff it as I was sipping it. So it smells like autumn, it smells like fall, it smells like pumpkins and squash and candied yams and everything that you love in the autumn. And also cinnamon, there's like a hint of, of spiciness cinnamon, but that really gets going when you, when you taste it taste of this tea um interestingly enough you know darjeelings are always to me they're kind of tannin you know when I mean, you think of a champagne 
and and Darjeeling's are considered considered the champagne of, of teas. When you think of a champagne, you always have that kind of slight bitterness, but it also lends to just the whole experience of champagne. And this Darjeeling has that. It has the tannin, kind of that astringency, that dryness that champagne has. But I like that. Um, the the interesting thing about this, the way this tea tastes, is that without honey, it tastes very like very much like um collard greens like once again fall and autumn and everything that's happening during this time it tastes it tastes like collard greens it tastes very um vegetable like very tannin collard greens that's the only thing i can think of is when i'm sipping this tea without honey now when i add a little honey to this tea it gets really interesting because all of those scents that i smelled they kind of come out through the honey Without the honey, you got that collard green vegetable taste, but with the honey, you got this cinnamon, pumpkin, candied yams. I mean, it's just amazing. It's amazing. That's why I love autumn teas. It tastes really delicious without honey, but I think that I really enjoy the pumpkin and the candied yams and the cinnamon of flavors that come out when I add honey. So I probably will be sipping this tea with honey from here on out. Well, there you have it, guys. That is my review of Himalaya Mist Darjeeling by Dober Tea. Once again, Dober Tea, I've already done a review on that place. You might want to check it out because if you're in the Pennsylvania area or any of the area, other, area, other areas that Dober Tea is found, you might want to go there and check it out. It was a really cool tea experience and I got some really delicious tea there too. So like I said, that is my review of the Himalaya Mist Darjeeling Tea by Dober Tea. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to tnblog.com, go ahead and do so. Of course, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can even click that like button if you liked this tea review. But, is, but it is subscribing directly to tnblog.com that will get you automatically entered to win free tea, books, stuff that I'm always giving away here on TN Blog. So make sure you subscribe. At TN Blog on Twitter, Instagram, be sure to like TN Blog Facebook page because it gets really lonely without your likes, guys. And make sure you subscribe because it's really important. Want to donate to TM Blog? Hey, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> you can donate any and all proceeds go to Sipping Happily Ever After so that we can continue to have great tea, reading, literature, experiences, all of that. So if you would like to donate, your donations are greatly appreciated. And that is Tea End. Until next time, guys, keep sipping happily ever after.